Hello friends, this is Ankush Bhatt with Katia tutorial number 8. In this tutorial, we will learn about spline tool, connected spline tool, axis tool, point by clicking, equidistant point and intersecting point. On the left hand side, we have Katia V5 window and on the right hand side, we have step by step instructions for the whole tutorial which you can write down. Let's start by creating a new file. Go to start, mechanical design, part design, give a file name to your file as I am giving it Jimmy. So a new file with file name Jimmy has been created. Choose any plane from the part tree as I'm going with XY plane or you can choose the plane from directly from here also with YZ plane and then select the sketcher tool. Now we have entered into the sketcher workbench. These are the sketcher tools on the right interface, bottom interface and, and the top interface. So let's study about the spline tool. This is the spline tool and by clicking at the bottom arrow of this tool we get the simple spline and the connected spline and by just holding the side slot we can just with the help of left click we can just drag it to the screen so now just moving towards the spline tool pick up the tool define the starting point of your curve define the second control point you can define the control points if you have the coordinates also by giving horizontal and vertical coordinates or you can define it randomly like this in this tool we can just form a curve with the help of these control points and by double clicking you can just exit this tool or by just pressing the escape key so now with the help of these control points just hold the control point with the help of left key and by adjusting the control point we can adjust our curve as per our needs, as per, as per our sketch. You can see we can take our control points anywhere on our curve and just adjust the shape of our curve. Now to add some more control point to the curve so that it can be more easier for us to give it complicated shapes, just double click the curve. So with the help of this dialog box, we can just add or remove the control points by selecting the control point and just clicking remove point we have removed a control point and by simply clicking on the line we can just add a control point as we have added a single control point here and then okay now we can adjust the control point by just holding the point like this and we can adjust our curve as this curve is actually constrained coincidentally constrained that's why it's not able to like move so we delete the constraint now it will move so with the help of slime tool you can create different curves or freehand curves now moving towards the connected spline tool, with the help of this tool you can connect the ends of the spline tool by clicking before pick up the tool and then click the one end point and then click the second end point. So you can see we have connected the end points. Now it is like closed spline now. Moving on towards axis. Before that just delete all this sketching with the help of selection window and then pressing delete. We deleted our sketch. So to explain the axis tool, we are just creating a circle. Now, this is the axis tool. Axis tool is used to create a reference line for using the tools like mirroring. Just select the starting point or just give horizontal or vertical coordinates and then define the length and angle of the line as I'm providing the length of 200 mm. And an angle of 0 degrees so uh, an axis of 200 mm and angle of 0 degree has been formed now we can create as many as axis we want to take reference now moving towards the point by clicking tool this is the point by clicking tool and by clicking the bottom arrow 
we will get the different types of point by clicking tool this is simple point by clicking this is coordinate point this is equidistant point these are this is intersecting point so we can take this toolbox by just holding the corner slot and with the left key of our mouse we can take it to screen now studying about the simple point just pick up the pick up the tool and with a single click of your mouse we can just create the point anywhere as I'm creating it randomly now moving towards to the second point it's the coordinate point pick up the tool define the coordinates like I'm giving it 20 and 30 okay so now with the coordinates 30 20 we have defined our point now moving towards to the equidistant point with the help of this equidistant point we can create equidistant points on any sketch like pick up the tool select the sketch as I'm selecting a circle you can see the equidistant points has been created on the circle we can change the number of equidistant points by increasing or decreasing the equidistant points here as I've increased the points to 20 then by clicking OK so you can see we have created equidistant points on our circle now moving towards to the four tool this is intersecting point tool for that for this we are creating a line intersecting line this line this tool is used to create a point at the intersection point of two lines two sketches just pick up the tool select the first intersecting line and select second intersecting line a point will be created at the point of its intersection so in this video we learned about how spline works how connected spline works what are the use of axis and how do we create point by clicking how equidistant points are created and intersecting points are created i hope you like this video and thanks for watching this video